Hi everyone, it's Dredrick, and today we're going to take a look at the Japanese website for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. There were a couple things on here that I didn't know about Xenoverse 2 before I took a look at the website today, and we're going to go through it together, and we're going to do it with some Google Translate. Now it's a little hard to translate this website because most of the information here isn't text on the website, it's pictures. So I had to use the translation app. Something I have some experience with though, so we're gonna go through the English together and we're gonna learn a couple things about Xenoverse 2 that you may not already know. Okay, so here we are on the specifications page. This page has some general information for the game. Nothing really too exciting at first. We have the console that the game's available for, as well as the cost in yen and the Seroka rating, which is like the ESRB for the United States, or PEGI for Europe. You can see that Xenoverse 1 has a welcome price, which is reduced for new players here. Welcome price with a second exclamation mark. Just lets you know how much value there is for that. Now you'll notice it only says PlayStation 4. This is most likely just because Xbox and PC have a very small market share in Japan, so the only important thing really is whether or not it's for PlayStation 3 or just PlayStation 4, and you can see it's only PlayStation 4. But if we scroll down, we have some very interesting information. And we're going to go through this. Uh, most of you that are paying attention to all the Xenoverse news will know most of this, but some of it might be new, so we're going to take a look at this. The stop section here, according to, once again, Google Translate, says, when you start the Dragon Ball Xenobath 2 took over from the PS4, PS3. Dragon Ball Xenobath has a previous work of the saved data can take over. So it's saying you can transfer your data from Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2. Now it talks about PS3 here, so I wonder if they're saying that you can transfer your PS3 data to PS4. I haven't heard about that, but maybe somebody else has. Let's go on to the next part here. Number one feature, the hero of Xenobasu has appeared as costume up to five parts. Senior patroller to Xenobasu 2 in taking over the work up to seven. Now this, takeover will decide the tricks and costumes that, except for some of the tricks, Z-Seol cannot take over. So there's three things here. If you didn't know this, this is some information. Your hero has appeared as a costume up to five parts. So that's going to be your uh, hands, your body, your pants, and your shoes. Now, the interesting thing is that in the Sergio, most recent Sergio M3 video, he said that according to the data he found with the patch that allowed for transferring your save data, I believe it was on the PC, he said that that implied you would not be able to train, take your accessory over to the new game. But this page says that there's five parts, so that would imply you can take your accessory. In any case, we'll have to take a look at that later once we get more information. Your senior patroller is, of course, your character from Xenoverse 1, as shown by the promotional main character from Xenoverse 1. And it says you can taking over the work up to seven talking about your tricks. These are your skills. Now in Xenoverse 2, we know that your transformation skill is your third ultimate. Just like in Xenoverse 1, we suspected that once DLC came out, we would get a third ultimate slot based on the fact that the circle button wasn't used with R2 and L2. But we now know that that's going to be the transformation slot in Xenoverse 2. So your seven tricks that you'll be able to bring over, or skills you can bring over to Xenoverse 2, are your four primary skills, your evasive, and two ultimates. So be careful in selecting the skills that you want to start Xenoverse 2 with when you're importing your data or saving your data from Xenoverse 1, your clear data. Now again, Sergio vid Sergio's video talked about some skills that you won't be able to transfer over, as explained here, except for some tricks. And that typo was mine, not Google's. Forgive me. So some skills you can't bring over. Some of Beast, Beerus and Weiss's skills, for example, uh, so we'll have to take a look at those, and I'll put Sergio's video in my description, so you should take a look at that if you're interested in the information that he found. And the last thing here, the Z-Soul cannot take over, so your Z-Soul will not be able to transfer over. Let's look at the third part down here. 
Other Xenobasu deadly in technique, in accordance with the collection rate and the game progress rate, such as costumes Zenny converted takeover by Mosquitoes Dragons to TP metal, it is also possible takeover previous data to our open beta. Let's check if taken over by the, for more information click here, open beta. So this page takes us to some information about the open betas that are going to be taking place. And we know that some of the information or the things that we do in the open beta will be able to be pulled into the main game. So that's something else to be posted and look for more information on the future. So let's go to the next page. So here we have the next page. This is the world page. And this is going to tell us the story of Xenoverse 1, the backstory, as well as give us our introduction into what's happening in Xenoverse 2 here. So, we start at the top. The incidents of Xenobasu. And then over here. To the world stage after the end, a new story begins. <clears throat> Become the new god by Genie Demigra, that ripe historical dominance occurs modification of history to celebrate a different ending from the original history of Dragon Ball. Story, the ambition from after this Damigura incident, converged in one time patroller, previous work hero, M. Shatter, age 50, of Xenobasu 2, kick off. Hmm, so this one time patroller converged the incident and stopped Damigura's incident of ripe historical domination. Let's continue. Age 852 time patroller was organized so this is the new time patroller uh, organization even after the Dabigura incident still happened historical modification diversify history modification psycho god at the time which became busy been forced to respond to is the power to borrow evening time patrol of the old world king of god to organize recruit evening greatly in patroller hero some Kimi applied for the time patroller. So this is saying that the psycho god, the supreme Kai of time, was so busy, there was so much time changing after Xenoverse 1 that she just didn't have time. So she had to borrow the old world king of god, which is the supreme Kai, uh, the old Kai from Dragon Ball Z. And then this word down here, Kimi, patroller hero sum Kimi applied for the time patroller. Kimi means you, so they're saying that you applied to be a time patroller. Let's keep going. Time patroller mark of Toriyama teacher supervision. That's what this is right here, saying that this is the time patroller symbol. Looking down here, you are stepping on novice patroller left 1A. Next, this land. And to be Gyo along with Trunks and Senior Patroller far right. So in this picture, this character is your your character. will be here. This is your new Time Patroller. And your imported character from Xenoverse 1, which should default to this one if you don't import your save data. Well, that's going to be a character in Xenoverse 2 that you will meet, it looks like, very early on. So that's something I didn't know. We will confront a new enemy while further players and communication of characters in the world, whole world vast by now, the town Chaos Deputy, a Dragon Ball. Of course, we, we, all, we all know what that means. We all know what, uh, what they were saying um, with that, so we're not going to worry about going into this in any more detail since uh, everybody already knows exactly what that means, of course. We don't need to talk about that. Let's go to the next page. This is the About page. It's got some more information about the game and what we can expect. Let's take a look at this. There is a history you want to change. A new enemy with the past future Goku and Vegeta enter into any history of Dragon Ball stand. We have the sad picture of future trunks in the background with someone on the ground here. Could this be Gohan? It probably is. Anyway. It's talking about the future Trunks saga and letting us know that that's going to be, in fact, in the game. Let's go to the next part here. The next line says, Kimi defend the history of the new Rice Patroller Dragon Ball. 
And then the next one, looking at the new villains. In history modification that happened in the previous work, the worst of the situation is which the further modification is applied? Question mark? Goku father, Baraku J, Gohan, in the future edition, such as Thales, Janemba, of theater work, one after another, new character field. It's talking about the new characters in the game. Of theater work, most likely is saying that it's characters from the movie. Thales being Turles in the American version, and Janemba, of course, being Janemba. Some new characters that we're going to see in the game. Let's go down some more information here. This, I believe, is talking about Tokitoki City. It's a replacement, which is Canton. Time Pato, also town chaos, metropol metropolitan, still vast, and attire of the roller can take a Ryuya us, and the communication of all the world, the Contoso capital, become new to the table. Guests can enjoy a battle with other players, enjoy the coalition play, such as new online features to fight in cooperation with anyone. Most likely talking about the new 6v1 battles, these coalition plays. Down here, this is something that some of you might really like to see. Etc. Or help the Nameku star people, or become one of the soldiers of the new Dragon Ball Experience Freezer Army. Two experiences is possible dragon to enter the world of Dragon Ball. This is one thing that was mentioned. There's things you can do, different quests for different people in Canton City. Helping the Namek people. They have a Namekian area in Canton, as well as Frieza's ship. So it might be that you can do these with any character. But on one of the developer streams, they mentioned that if you were a Saiyan, Vegeta would have extra quests for you. So there might be certain Namekian or Frieza quests that are racial dependent, and then there's likely going to be others that just everyone is expected to do. The last section here will be expanding about some of the character creation stuff, although if you're interested in more character creation information, I do have some very good things later in the video about that. Also expanding customization of large volume avatars and battle style that becomes alter ego of the customization features ear own, utilizing the players each of the properties can enjoy more strategic battles. And in fact, I did find some information about character creation and some interesting things that you're able to customize, which are on another page, which we'll be taking a look at very soon. Here we have the battle page. Some information about new battle mechanics in the game. The first line says, New Dimension Dragon Ball Battle. Smooth character actions that are expressed in 60 FPS. So yes, this game will indeed be in 60 frames per second. More loudly, more beautiful battle effects that evolution mm, does seem that the effects are made much nicer with the sequel to the game. And then the last one down here says Destruction representation of the stage, such as rock floating in response to Ultra Warrior, numerous rendition of Dragon Ball, unique. So you can see here Goku as he transforms. There's rocks flying around as well as other destruction effects. We had some minor destruction effects in the first game, but it wasn't anything particularly impressive. In addition down here, we have some information on new game mechanics. Let's take a look. The new battle system that bargaining has increased. Trying to build a new battle style in the new actions, such as Aura Burst Dash, Burnishing Step, Heavy Smash. These are the three techniques. This picture here is the Aura Burst. The Aura Burst, Dash Aura Burst, Chasing an automatic opponent escape by flying. A valid action to the other party usually come over the persistent checks and balances in the gas bullets. Uh, so this is a technique for chasing people. Um, it should be able to help you with combos as well as chasing people that are trying to run away from you. It helps catch people. That's my understanding. Also, this term gas bullets is going to come up in the future. So uh, my understanding is that the gas bullets are how this is translating your basic key blast on the circle button. Let's move on to the next technique. The burnishing step. Perishing step can quickly move while disappeared. Movement is possible while fending off enemy of some attack. It seems Dragon Ball action. So this is a uh, sort of vanish technique. 
Um, I'm not sure if this is the technique that was shown off uh, extensively in the Cell vs. Turles uh, gameplay video, which is easy to find if you're looking at that, but this is a technique that can be used to move around uh, vanished and quickly. So let's look at the last one here. The Heavy Smash, Broken Posture. Broken Posture. Destroy the posture of the enemy by performing a Heavy Smash. It is possible to reliably hit the subsequent attack. Gap is reliably chance if large water hit. So you can break their guard with a heavy smash, let's say. Um, I'm not sure why this is in the uh, the information. There must be some change to this uh, because it seems much the same as it was in Xenoverse 1, but we'll see. And, you know, gap is reliably chance if large water hits. Uh, if that's It's obvious what that means, so we're just going to... We're just going to go on to the next page here. I don't need to explain what that means. Now we're on to the really important pages. We're on to the system pages. These are new gameplay mechanics or effects or sort of things like that. The first page here is about TP medals. If you haven't heard about these, these are time controller medals, and they're a very important currency in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Let's take a look at these. So TP medal. Gathered TP metal in it to carry out any mission trying to send a full time patroller life Metals by using the TP metal is a medal of the warrior to protect the history is a testament to the mission of the time pato roller It is possible to obtain these ra the rare costumes and rare skills So you can buy rare costumes and skills with time patroller metals, which makes them a very valuable currency Let's find out a little bit more about these shall we? So TP Metal Mission, for the first time implementation, at the time of possible TP Metals to be won in the high mission of Hurdle Parallel Quest, first clear, rare currency expert mission online events and available conditions are limited. Uh, we're going to just ignore that because the next section explains it much more clearly. These are the main available conditions to obtain TP Metals. One is Parallel Quest, first time clear, so some or possibly all, but most likely just some Parallel Quests, you'll get a TP medal when you clear it. During Expert Mission clear, so it could be that one of the reasons we end up grinding Expert Missions and one of the reasons that they encourage people to play them, which is a good idea since you need at least six people for one to go, is by giving us TP medals or possibly just metal when we clear one of those missions. Carry milk, Kameishi, when doing special class such as collected. Uh, my best guess is that they're saying that these are the quests you do around Canton City. Um, you can get TP medals by doing those. Take over save from the one Dragon Ball Xenobath. Wish to the God Dragon and event reward. So very simple. Uh, TP medals here your save data from Xenobath 1. According to Sergio, uh, he saw from the data that he looked at with the patch that if you had skills equipped to your character that you weren't carry, able to carry over to Xenoverse 2, that the game wouldn't let you, then instead of giving you those skills, it would award you TP medals instead. So it could be that if you don't have any skills that you want to bring into Xenoverse 2, you should look up a list of skills that you can't and equip all of those. And that way, you'll start off with some extra TP medals in Xenoverse 2 and give yourself some extra currency. Might be interesting. Let's look at the last section here. The TP Metal Shop. And this is very interesting. Weekly lineup of TP Metal Shop items that you want to open only on certain days of week. Trying to check the frequently shop because from time to time change. So the shop will give different items on different days of the week. It's an interesting way to keep shopping a little interesting, although it might be annoying for people once we've gotten into the game, especially after we've been playing the game for several months. And at the bottom here, try to get a high costume of tricks, uh, costumes and tricks of the rarity attracted a lot. So it seems TP medals are going to be very valuable for getting expensive equipment and skills since uh, money in Xenoverse 1 was just absolutely infinite after a certain period of time so maybe tp medals are meant to expand the length that it takes to actually get everything that we need let's look at the next section that one's uh where the good stuff is at we're getting into the really good stuff now now we come to the most interesting page here and this is the new information that 
the website has to offer about character customization. First of all, notice some of the new costumes available on the page. You have the police outfit here, the baseball outfit, and ooh, baby. Also some new time patroller outfits for different races, possibly the starting outfits, time patroller symbol there. Let's take a look at this. A further strengthening of the creation element. Create their own alter ego will jump into the world of Dragon Ball. Earthling, Saiyan, Namekuho Shujin, Freezer Group, Majin, able to produce an avatar of only you from all five races. So no new race this time around, but I think we already pretty much got the bad news about that. Continuing on downwards to this section. Customize will be more detailed settings and rich parts. It can be further customized to battle style by race and school. So what does that mean? We can see from this scene over here that the height and the weight settings are mostly the same and most likely it's going to have roughly the same effect on gameplay though we'll have to see to wait see that for sure but can be further customized to battle style by race and school hmm hard to say exactly what that is it sounds like it's mostly saying that you can customize your battle style by selecting your race and your school which would be either just the mentor system or something like it maybe somebody knows more about that than I do but I'm not uh, getting my hopes up too much that there's extensive character customization in terms of fighting style but we'll see so now down to this section over here height instead of just one race Physique equals one nose, mouth, or skin color. The possibility of customization, such as eye color, infinity. And I don't think any of this sounds new to me. It all sounds just like things that we had in Xenoverse 1. But let's go down. So what is this? This is something a little different. It says here, customization of the gas bullets also possible. So that means that your normal key blast, you can customize it. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Up here, Paralyzed Kitan. And this is a Saiyan time patroller, it looks like, possibly an Earthling. Uh, and he's using the Paralyzed Blast that the Freezer race had exclusively in the first game. So we know that you can use that on different races now. Power 5-0. Uh, not entirely sure how to translate that, but essentially this is just a very powerful singular key blast. You can see the Freezer Race Time Patroller using that here. We have Homing Key over here, so you have some key glasses that'll chase down fleeing opponents, um, which does sound familiar. As I noted earlier, the first time it mentioned gas bullets, it was talking about dealing with chasing chasing enemies. So it seems like this key blast is meant to catch people that are just trying to run away from you. So I think some players uh, will very much appreciate that. Over here you have Bomb Spirit Sphere. So something like the Spirit Bomb or an Explosive Key Blast. Interesting. And the last one is the Rush Spirit Spheres. So based on all this, it seems like we have some different varieties. We have Paralysis, Power Emphasis, Explosion, uh, Homing, and Fast Key Blast. So lots of different varieties. That's very interesting. can use that to suit your playstyle. And then this last line down here, let's Tsukuri the show an avatar of only you. And Tsukuri the show, if I remember correctly from an episode of Azumanga Daio, is something like let's make something together. So I think what it's trying to say is let's create an avatar of only you or something to that effect. So it's trying to say that it wants us to create our own unique avatar, which is much the same as the selling point of the first game. So nothing particularly new there except some new costumes, which is kind of cool. And the key blast thing, which was the most interesting thing I found on this site. Down here, what is this? I didn't translate this, but what this is, is it's saying all the new voice actors. Um, and there's, these are all voice actors. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 total uh, male voice actors, and then 16 total female voice actors. So quite a lot of voices available to us. A lot of voices to customize our characters with. Finally, we have the transformation page. Let's see if there's any new information about the transformations of the game, shall we? Uh, 
the first section here. A new fight, arousal technique, awakening in to a new dimension, the arousal techniques being the transformations. Let's take a look at the first one here. Ku Tosai 17 people. Um, it's an interesting translation. It either means Super Saiyan 3 or I think it's just an awkward translation by Google of Saiyan. In this work was transformed into a Super Saiyan can become a Super Saiyan during the battle, trying to overwhelm the opponent. So, according to some of the videos we've seen, Super Saiyan, especially Super Saiyan 3, is very powerful indeed. So, you're trying to overwhelm your opponent with your new powers. The next one, you can see the human here with their transformation. Earth Hishi. While riding on the Sujito Kumo, Ri stick freely mastering to fight, trying to mercy of the opponent attack in tricky. So I think what it's trying to say is that you have very tricky attacks with your power pull on this transformed form, but not entirely sure. Let's look at the next one. The next one here. Namaku stars, BA. Not just a Namaku star, people. Ultra Namaku Hoshin. Letting out their opponents with overwhelming power and huge. So, of course, we have the giant Namekian transformation form here. Not really anything new. Uh, I think we've already seen this gameplay, these features, but still, it's a good look at it. Next, of course. Uh, this probably says freezer people or something, um, but for whatever reason, probably because of the background image, uh, Google was unable to pick this up as Japanese text and translate it, so I just wrote Frieza in as a placeholder. The color of the body is a change in the gold as golden freezer. Super Saiyan as well parameter is rising. So you get increased parameters just like Super Saiyan. Now, it's very general about that, so it could mean that you get stats in addition to speed, or it could just be the speed. Who can say right now? We'll have to find out later. And the last one, something maybe some people, myself, definitely want to know more about. Demon Man Group switches to the appearance of the Majin Buu, Pierre. It is possible to semi-komu more aggressively by making full use of the dedicated action. So, this was a little disappointing for me, because I don't know what the hell semi-komu means. In fact, Google just was not very helpful about this. So, I did a little work and took the phrase that is this. Uh, Google didn't translate it, it just presented it in Ramanji here. And I did a Google image search for it, and what came up was a bunch of pictures of sports mostly rugby and basketball, um, a couple of soccer or international football, and it was mostly what looked like people breaking through tackles. So I think semikomu is a type of rush. It's like saying a rush or maybe like a spirited rush is why it wasn't translated directly. In any case, I think this is referring to the technique that we've already seen from the Majin transformation form where they turn into the ball and they roll around. So it's it's the aggressive flying. So it's possible to semi-komu or rush more aggressively by making full use of the dedicated action. So that's all we had to learn about this. And in fact, that's just about all we had to learn from this website. There's not really anything else to take a look at here. There's movie, but this is all just the videos that are already available. So you can easily take a look at these on your own time. I won't make you watch them in this video. Special is mostly purchases. These are things that are available to buy. Uh, there are some different platforms here, of course. We have some promotional information and things like that. Uh, these are the pre-order bonuses. You have Goku Black and this flying vehicle from Tao Pai Pai. And then online, this is information about the beta. You can see the beta symbol right here. So I won't bother going through all this in the video, but hopefully you learned something interesting. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little run through on the Xenoverse 2 website, so I've enjoyed doing it. 
and uh, hopefully you've had a relaxing break from all your Dragon Ball fighting and you're as ready as I am to try out the game when it comes out. Not this date. That's not our release date. It's early in October. We'll have two betas and then we'll get the game later in October. I'll look forward to seeing you out there. Goodbye.